it really does take you back in time hunting with a bow and arrow just like this one this is all the food and all the water i brought gang top we just had an access deer Headed out into the wild. The only thing I'm taking is my backpack here with basic camping gear. We got a hammock, sleeping bag. The only food I'm taking is a little bit of dried beef. So if we're gonna eat a real meal this trip, we're gonna have to kill something. The only weapon I'm taking is this Native American style Comanche bow I built. If you haven't watched my other videos, definitely go check them out where we made this bow and arrow. I'm really hoping we can get a deer with this thing. Um, I'm, I, I know the bow's capable. I know I'm capable. I've been practicing relentlessly with this thing. The gear can do it. I can do it. Now the deer just has to cooperate with us. I'm actually going to have no way out of this place. I mean, I could be there a day or I could be there for two weeks. I have no idea. Um, I'm, I'm going to get dropped off there first thing in the morning. Uh, and then we're going to go out and hunt and then we'll go set up camp. But I will see y'all out there. Today's video is brought to you by Red Bull. They didn't pay me or anything, but I wouldn't be filming without it. Let's go hunting. back. And now we wait. Fingers crossed. We can get this done in a couple days. It's getting to be go time. There's hog tunnels on the grass behind me, so if I get ran up on by a group of hogs, it's not going to be good. Axis deer, really spooky. Any little thing can scare them off. There's an axis. 
Texas deer roaring a couple hundred yards away. This wind is swirling. It's not good being this close. We just had an access deer roar, probably a hundred yards that direction. So there's a good chance he's coming this way. The sun's getting higher, but one thing about these axis deer is they tend to move best in the middle of the day. They're a lot different than whitetail, their behavior. So one of the coolest parts about this hunt is I actually harvested these arrow shafts right here. <laughs> so chances are one of these arrows is going to start its life right here in this exact spot and end it. It's starting to warm up quite a bit. I'm really hoping that snakes aren't going to be moving. I've seen a lot of rattlesnakes and a lot of moccasins down here. So when the herd of Axis deer does finally come come by me here, it's it's gonna be close. They're gonna come in between me and the water right there. About five yards. I've got to go try to find us a campsite for tonight. We're going to come back this afternoon and hunt. Left all my gear about a mile back, so we got a pretty good height. Got to try and sneak out of here as quiet as possible because there are definitely still access deer in the area. I didn't bring very much water, so... That's our water source for this trip. It's gonna taste great. All right, well, I walked around the last couple of hours and it's the best thing I come up with was this old abandoned barn on the back side of the property. I'm just gonna string my hammock up in here somewhere. There's a good chance for thunderstorms, so this this will help during the storms, hopefully. It's not gonna be watertight, but better than nothing for sure. This is all the food and all the water I brought. So hopefully tonight we're roasting backstraps over a campfire. That'd be the ideal situation. Let's get this hammock hung up. So typically I try to hang my hammocks as high as possible because this barn is full of like raccoon and fox tracks and stuff. They've definitely taken it over. And I do not want a raccoon crawling in bed with me here tonight. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. Having this roof over my head really does help a lot on confidence in case a thunderstorm does come up. It only rains here once a year probably, but 
when it does, it, it rains. I still can't believe I get paid to do this. To come out here and camp, shoot my bow, all the things I was doing before I even had a YouTube channel. Now YouTube pays me for it. It's so crazy. All right, I'm about to head back out there hunting. It's gonna take me at least an hour to get back in there, but let's go take some practice shots. See if I can hit this can. It's always good to stay warmed up for a hunt. Dang, it, can just fell over, but it's right there. All right, I set it back up. Grazed it. I'm gonna set it over here where it's a little easier to see. All right, let's go hunting unstrung the bow it's really not good to leave it strung for a very long time if I need it I'm strung it pretty quick let's head back up there that's what we're after right there yep I'm gonna string my bow axes within a couple hundred yards of us. Fingers crossed they come and give us a shot. This is taking forever. I'm just thinking about how these part these lambs that are part of my blind would make good arrows. I am so bored. They'll have no idea. I should call her. This pig shit looks like that new weed they're selling in Colorado. No luck tonight. Still got an hour walk back to camp. It's definitely gonna be dark. It's gonna be a long night. I will see y'all in the morning. There's gotta be a family of rats living under there. It's two in the morning and I cannot sleep. Something is under there. Making lots of noise. I survived the night barely. Let's go hunting. Day two. I'm freezing cold. And I need some meat. That sun feels good.
I'm completely out of food at this point, and my stomach's growling so loud that I think it's gonna scare any of the deer away. <laughs> I need some food. I really do hate this kind of hunting. It is so boring. I would much rather be out there doing spot and stalk, but I don't I don't think that's possible with this equipment on the on this type of deer. Maybe I can do it, but I think my chances are best just waiting them out here at the watering hole. You know it it really does take you back in time, hunting with a bow and arrow just like this one. It wasn't, but about 150 years ago, Quanah Parker was roaming these hills right here where I'm sitting. There's, there's a good chance he actually watered at this water and hole that I'm hunting over. Wind's picking up some. All right, I can't sit here much longer. Let's go think of a new game plan. Keep the bow ready because we could jump one on the way out of here. I don't know what left that. It's fresh and big. That must have been whatever I heard stomping around behind me because that's not but a few feet behind where I'm sitting. <laughs> that's great. I really don't know what's going on. I figured we'd we'd have got a shot by now. I'm I'm out of food, so I think I'm gonna try and shoot a hog tonight. I'll, I'm gonna sleep in that blind all night and try to get a hog to come in so we can have some loins to roast over the campfire. I think these axis deer are so tough to hunt because if you think about it, where they're from in India, the main predator is a tiger. So these things have evolved to elude tigers. I mean, I'm hunting them like a tiger. I'm crouched down in the grass, basically, at a watering hole. If I don't get a hog tonight, this is this will probably be my last night out here. It's an hour and a half to town from here. I'm gonna have to go to town, get some supplies, regroup and restock, come back with a new game plan, but we're gonna get one of those Axis deer eventually. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.